Good morning. Today is Monday, October 17th. Our names are Maria and Jennifer, and this is Father Today. Today's schedule is 135. Now face them for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Fix us out every Wednesday after school by the office for a dollar. Congratulations to our Claudio Martinez, a seventh grader that has won the Amazon gift card out of thousands of students for eating breakfast every day. Eighth grade boys interested in, play in playing orange and black flag football, sign up with Mr. Murphy. Students, please remember to order and buy your school sweater in the PTA store. Builders Club meeting today, and don't forget to bring your jar of peanut butter. On October 31st, for all students that have perfect attendance, there will be a dance in the cafeteria. Halloween dress down day is available for everyone for the cost of $3. No masks are allowed and dress code must be followed. Any 8th grade students interested in becoming cl class president, 7th grader student wanting to be vice president, or 6th grader student wanting to be secretary, secretary please speak um, with Mrs. Stevens before the end of the day. If you are interested in being part of the Hispanic Heritage Show on October 27th, please see Ms. Martinez in room 56. Girls Volleyball Trials today. Club, the Let Club, formerly known as Bible Club, will me be meeting Tuesday after school. Friday Scholar is meeting on Thursday. Citizenship Pride Club meeting tomorrow. Soccer practice resumes on Tuesday. Now to weather. Today's forecast is a high of 85 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. Now to sports. After a week in which two starting Miami Dolphin offense, offensive linemen were released from the team and the head coach threatened other players if they did not start playing up to their potential, the Finns dismantled the Pittsburgh Steelers. 32-15 yesterday at Hard Rock Stadium behind Jay Ajayi's rushing performance of 204 yards and two touchdowns. Next up for the Dolphins is uh, the Red Hot Buffalo Bills. Now to Rachel. Fifty-two percent of American adults tell that <coughs> policy is that the that the twenty sixteen election is very or somewhat significant source of stress. This sur the survey was conducted online among adults 18 year olds and older living in the U.S. by Harris Poll for the Association. Now to Melanie. On this day in 1931, gangster Al Capone is sentenced to 11 years in prison for tax evasion and fined $80,000, signaling the downfall of one of the most notorious criminal criminals of 1920s and 1930s. Among Capone's enemies was federal agent Elliot Ness, who led a team of officers known as the Untouchables because they couldn't be corrupted. Ness and his men routinely broke up Capone's bootlegging business, but it was his tax evasion charges that finally struck and landed Capone in prison in 1931. Now today we Students, please remember the school way behavior expectation be resourceful, ready, responsible, respectful, and healthy. Thank you. This has been finally today.